Hello frogfish fans. My name is Michael Smith from Underwater Macro How To and today I'm here to pump you up. Um, but seriously what I'm talking about today is the um, vacuum seal system and the leakage detection system on um, on underwater camera housings um, obviously. Um, so today I've got my trusty G9 housing from Nauticam um, and the back of it um, which I normally don't shoot with. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about the vacuum system and how that works. Now, this, um, they build these here. This, so there's a thing called a bulkhead. And a bulkhead is basically a hole in the housing. You'll see one right here. Um, it just has, a, looks like a screw head. That's, a, that's the spacer or the filler inside of that bulkhead right now. Um, I've got another bulkhead over here, and they usually come in two sizes. One is an M14 and one is an M16. Okay. Um, the vacuum system comes in, in a bulkhead like this. You either buy your housing and then you buy the vacuum system to go inside of it, or a lot of the top end housings come with the vacuum system already built into it. Okay. And if you just, it's got a case here. Um, always remember to put the, the cover back on because this also keeps water from going inside when you when you release the pressure and you just have this and it's just a switch it's a one-way valve it's a one-way valve it holds the vacuum and when you push this it breaks that vacuum and allows air to enter the housing okay um, so i'm going to keep this off for the time being um, there's just a second thing that you need to know and that is on these housings you've got this switch right here and it says off and on that manages both the vacuum, uh, vacuum detector, and the um, leak detection system. Now the leak detection system itself is very, I think it's low tech, but it's high tech. Um, and that is right here, you see these two cables? And right here where my finger is, you've got two wires and they just look like this. They're just two exposed wires. So the wires come down and then the ends are exposed with a little metal, little metal tip. And the whole idea behind the leak detection system is that when water enters the housing, it touches those two wires, completes the circuit, and an alarm goes off. It just goes beep. I know this because as a downside of this, I had an older housing for an Olympus EM10 Mark II, and um, I was in the tropics too long with it, and it got uh, some moisture inside of up here in the sensor and it just started to go off for no apparent reason freaked me out the first time it happened because i was on a dive you go you build everything in the up in the surface you go down in the water and the temperature changes and you get a little bit of condensation inside of the housing and it um shorted out the circuit or it got into the circuit the, and especially those wires and started just beeping in the middle of a dive and i freaked out and had to go to the surface pulled the housing apart. There was no water in it. Um, I messed with it a little bit and just, and just did the rest of the dives with that off. Okay. Um, in order to pump out our housing and put a vacuum inside of it, um, and the, we, we do a couple things. First one is we turn this on. Okay. What that does is I've got this nice light here. This light turns blue. Um, you can kind of see that it's blue. Okay. Um, I will take this, put this on the housing itself, and for these, um, some of the older um, Micro Four Thirds, they would they had a hinge and they would swing out, um, but not a cam switch to the like they do for the bigger for the DSLRs, and that just slides right on. There are a couple pegs here, um, the pegs go right into the holes there, and then you flip your little latches down and it's locked. Okay. The next thing you do is you take your pump. The pump slides right on over the top of that vacuum valve. And I'm gonna have to flip this around. You watch that light. Okay, so that light now looks like that. And he is blinking blue. Can you see him? I don't think you can see him very well. It's too much light. There you go. So now he's blinking blue, okay? I attach my pump and slowly suck the air out okay now when the housing can detect that there's a vacuum okay so it detects that there's less pressure inside the housing it starts to blink yellow okay 
if I pump it a couple more times. Okay. Okay. And it still like blinks, 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 and then it switches to full-time green. That tells me that I now have a vacuum inside of that housing. And it does this weird thing because of the way that it's made, it will actually create a vacuum and suck the two pieces of the housing together and tighten up that seal, which is actually a really cool thing for me. Um, now, normally what I'll do is before a dive, I'll go set this up, um, do uh, pump out all my air, um, wait until the green light comes on, then give it maybe, maybe five more pumps, four more pumps, um, something like that. And just get that extra little bit out. Don't over pump it because then it has the opposite where it will actually suck water into the housing. So don't over pump it. Um, and then I'll set, set my camera off to the side um, for you know 15 or 20 minutes while I get all my dive gear together, right? So, or I'll set this up back at the back at the ranch, um, back at our whatever our hotel or wherever we're sleeping. Set up my camera so that when I get to the dive site, it's already set up and I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Then, um, more most importantly, don't forget to put the cap on once you're done pumping it. Okay. This guy has a little. Um, this cap has a little O-ring right here. Um, you still have to add a little bit of lubrication. Maintain that O-ring just like you do the, the big O-ring in the housing. Okay? When you're done with the dive, okay, and this I will show you because this is also what happens when your vacuum fails, um, which is as it slowly fails, okay, it'll start blinking yellow, which says, hey, you got a problem, you got a problem. starts blinking red and then a catastrophic failure it just keeps blinking red okay so you just kind of keep it as you're diving as you're diving you're shooting you're shooting you've got this blinking thing it looks like this you got this blinking thing right in your face telling you that hey you got to end the dive because your camera housing is failing okay or at least the vacuum is failing okay um the uh one thing is when I set up my gear, I set up my gear, I set this to the side, I get on my dive gear, I come back and look to see what that light looks like. If it's blinking yellow or blinking red, then I have a vacuum uh, problem. And basically it's not safe to dive with that because as soon as I go in the water, water will start to get inside the housing, okay? So if I have that problem, then I maybe I need to pull things apart, I need to fix the O-ring, um, usually that's what it is. Clean the O-ring, make sure that there's nothing that's stuck inside of there. Uh, make sure that your valve is okay. Put it all back together, pump it out, let it sit for a little bit longer. Um, and then if it's still green, then it's safe to go dive. All right. So that is all about vacuum systems, leak detection, and, um, pretty much everything I know about it. So thank you for watching and, um, take care and happy diving. All right, thank you and goodbye.